Uh, hi everyone. Um, today we want to do, um, just discuss a procedure that we do. Um, it's called thoracocentesis. So it's where we uh, actually um, stick a, a needle into um, the, the, the chest cavity. Um, and we do this um, to often have to remove fluid, air, um, and especially if a patient is in respiratory distress. So that is when they are um, struggling to breathe and um, that fluid or that air is actually compressing their lungs so that they can't breathe properly. Now, um, in Puma's case, uh, uh, you can see Puma is actually um, uh, what we call abdominal breathing. So um, he's got very quick breaths and, uh, and they're, they're coming a little bit more from his uh, tummy. Um, and this is a typical situation when a, when a patient is, um, is not uh, coping so well. Now he has been on oxygen and he's also a regular patient of ours that comes now every couple of weeks uh, to drain his chest because he has a, um, a heart condition that um, puts pressure on his uh, lymph vessels. So he actually has what we call chylothorax, which is um, a specific type of liquid that we remove from the chest that unfortunately doesn't go away with, um, with certain heart medications. So we know that we have to drain him on a regular basis. And he's actually coping very well in between. And um, thankfully he's a very, very good patient that we can um, do this procedure and he, um, he manages uh, well in between things and, and, and he doesn't need sedation or, or anything like that. So he, he has, um, what, at the moment we're prepping him and we will be um, applying a little bit of local anesthetic to his um, chest wall so that he doesn't feel pain when we go in with the needle. And we'll show you that in a, in a little bit. Okay, so um, we have prepped the area um, where everything is uh, sterile, okay? And um, we've uh, applied a local anesthetic um, to, the, to the area behind his ribs. So he should um, feel a, a little less uh, sore. Um, and we'll be going in uh, to, to see if we can get some fluid out of his chest. drawing back um, uh, a lot of liquid. So this is um, a, a milky kind of pinkish uh, liquid, which, which is what we call chyle. Um, and um, Puma will now start to feel a lot, lot better um, as we uh, remove um, this, okay. And um, as you can see, he's a little bit um, un unhappy there, um, but we'd much rather do this without him having to go through any sedation or um, with the risk of him not coping well with his heart condition. Um, so we'll continue to remove now all, and drain both sides of his chest, and then we can show you at the end how much we've drained. Okay, so um, this is what we drain from uh, Puma. It's around two, almost 250 mils of liquid from both sides of the chest. Um, and um, he is now uh, back in oxygen, and as you can see, or you may not be able to see as easily, but, um, but his breathing is definitely a little less labored from his tummy um, area, um, and he's going to start to feel um, a, lot, a lot more comfortable again. Um, and so um, we, we, we need to unfortunately continue this way with him uh, uh, until we, we find that he's either settling down by himself or, or he just continues this way.